<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Professor uh, Uzi Rabi, Director of the Moshe Dayan Center for Middle East and African Studies, also the Chair of the Department of Middle East and African History. Uh, I would like to welcome you all this morning to the annual John Gandal Symposium. Before uh, actually getting to uh, our program, uh, I first want to take a moment of your time to say some words about the man who makes this event possible, John Gendel. John Gendel is the son of two Jewish immigrants from Poland. He is a man who has reached world-renowned status for his long list of accomplishments throughout his lifetime. For example, the developer of Australia's largest shopping centre, Chadstone in Melbourne. Those who knew him say he has been an inspiring entrepreneur who helped transform Australia into a dynamic and prosperous society. In 1990, John was made an officer of the Order of Australia for his services to business, commerce and industry. He is well known, a well-known philanthropist, generously supporting medical causes, education and the arts. Mr. Gendel also maintains an active role with the Jewish Museum of Australia. John, with his wife Pauline and their four children, are leaders of the Melbourne Jewish community. The whole Gendel family is involved in the Gendel Charitable Trust, the main vehicle for their philanthropy. In May 2006, Tel Aviv University conferred its highest honor upon Mr. Gendel, Dr. Philosophia Honoris Causa, for his business standing, broad leadership roles, and philanthropic support in Australia and Israel. I could continue with John's achievements. However, I fear it would only be a disservice to a lifetime of success and excellence. Needless to say, John Gandel is a man of, worthy of our praise, and on behalf of Tel Aviv University and the Moshe Dayan Center, John Gandel, thank you for your support and thank you for your legacy. Thank you. It was 10 years ago at Tel Aviv University's Board of Governance meeting in 2003 that the first annual John Gandel Symposium was established. Its highlighting of current Middle East affairs has become the hallmark of our annual program. Today, the Middle East stands on severely unstable footing. The wave of uprisings known as the Arab Spring swept the region and gone in its wake are several iron-fisted dictators and regimes emblematic to the Middle East of the past 60 years. Where the cards will fall is still unknown, which in and of itself presents a huge challenge to citizens, states, and societies of the region. Regional orders have been upturned and the paradigms of yesterday are finding their home or their way in the dustbin of history. This is why we have compiled a panel of distinguished guests, all uniquely qualified to provide you with a comprehensive panoramic view of the main developments in the Middle East, our ever-changing region. I'll introduce the speakers one by one, one at a time. Our first speaker this evening, Ambassador Danny Ayalon, was Israel's ambassador to the U.S. from 2002 to 2006. He was also Israel's deputy foreign minister from 2009 to 2013. This seasoned diplomat is one of a handful of people authoritative enough to provide insightful analysis as to what Israel faces politically and diplomatically in light of this new regional paradigm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to give the floor to Ambassador Ayalon. <laughs> 